when you you think of my diagnosis, it's difficult to process one thing. My life has never been about one thing. They are all intertwined and you can't separate them. My name is Helen. I'm Rosa. I'm originally from Uganda and I live in Belgium in Antwerp town. I'm a cleaning lady, Putzfrau, that's how they call it in Dutch. I had a problem with my left foot. The doctor called me and said, do you have someone to come with? I said, oh, have you found the problem? And I went and he said, you are HIV positive. I said, no. Married at the young age of 25, two years in my marriage, my husband died of an accident. So I told the doctor, look, I have not dreamt thought, read about sex. So I am not HIV positive. I was always at her place. She was on the computer. She said, you know, I'm sick. And you know, when someone says sick, immediately I was, huh? she said, I have AIDS. I knew that HIV kills. I'm going to die. Definitely, tears come even after now, it's 18 years. But you can't imagine being a single mother, knowing that the, your husband has died in an accident and now you are going even to make your child to lose you. So this was the reaction, you cry. And they said, in order to live longer and see your child grow, you need treatment. So to me, it was that. I understood that living with HIV, you need treatment. And if I am to have a better chance at a consistent supply of medication, I'll stay here. I left him when he was seven and I didn't see him for five years. Yes, living with HIV is a bad thing, but it is not worse than the five years I lost with my child. The doctor would ask, how are you feeling? Do you need anybody to talk to? I said, no, I am taking my medication. Is it working? Yes, by that time, not yet undetectable, but it is reducing. The virus is a virus. It is just within my body. The rest of me, I am still my father's daughter. I am my son's mother. So the virus has nothing to do with me. I am Helen. I do live with HIV, but I am not the virus. I say, I realize you have not forgiven me. Say, but mommy, I'm not angry with you. I say, yes, you have not forgiven me for the five years. It weighs on me and it weighs on my son, I think. But it weighs on me, specifically, I am my mother. And that's all I live for. Living with HIV does not hurt me at all. It hurts that I lost five years and I am paying the price. He thinks that the mother would have stayed with, with him. So that gap created something, but we believe God will change it. Because she's very strong, she's encouraging, she doesn't give up. Through my own peer support, sharing my life experience, sharing the benefits of taking the medication. I feel I have taken control of the treatment myself. To me, my lived-in experience using it 
I see it as a positive impact. You keep hoping and, and believing because you know there is someone who is working on it. So I have not stopped to dream. I dream every day, I plan every day, and I don't think that I have less time to get my things done.